We are Twirlbound, a game development company based in the Netherlands. We are a team of six enthusiastic developers and we are making Pine. The game started as like an interest in evolution theory and in struggle for survival as a mechanic in a game. We wanted to make the world feel alive and the key part of that became the artificial intelligence. We tried to look at ways to make enemies adapt to the player instead of them always responding to you in the same way. So we looked at how can we make this game actually listen to what the player does and we looked into machine learning to really see what patterns the player is using and respond to that in a very sophisticated way. For example, if you're playing defensively, species will become more aggressive, while if you dodge a lot, they'll have to become faster to keep up. But this idea of adaptation grew bigger. What if we built a game around an actual ecology that changes? Pine is set in a moderately sized island called Albemare. It features plains, forests, swamps, dry areas, and high mountain tops. On the island, everything's always alive and adapting to the circumstances like weather, territories, and most importantly, the player. We're taking an alternate approach to the evolutionary course that has been taken on the island, and we asked ourselves, what if humans actually never landed on top of the food chain? You play as Hugh a shy but smart young adult who has to overcome his fear of the outside world in order to find a new home for a leftover human tribe. You discover the island's history step by step as you find useful items called outfindings in mysterious places called vaults. With all the outfindings collected, you can finally make your way to this new home. A diverse cast of species helps or hinders you in getting to this goal. You, in turn, have the ability to help or hinder them as well, by gathering or stealing their food, enlarging or damaging their territory, or even joining their conflicts, by which you can shape your own story of allies and enemies. Each organism is different. We use genetic algorithms to make the species evolve as a whole, while keeping individual personalities and visual traits among them. There's this world that's constantly alive and we want to give the player the sense that they're just one species in, on this island. The design of the species really comes from this um, alternate evolution. What if uh, an elephant would have to be fast like a horse or a moose would have to overcome their enemies by building tools. And that's really what happens in our game. It's this alternate universe that's still grounded in reality. Pine's visual style is inspired by other games like Legend of Zelda or Fable. It has this handcrafted, warm, colorful feeling that really seems to appeal to a lot of people. We want to bring Pine to Kickstarter to involve the players even more. We are a small team and getting direct input from the players means a lot to us. Pine is currently in pre-alpha. We've engaged with thousands of testers for our early demos and the concept turned out to work really well. After winning a Unity Award and getting quite a bit of recognition in other places, we think Pine and Twirlbound are ready for the Kickstarter audience. So, this is where you come in. Uh, we've been extremely passionate about Pine for the past year and we're really excited to make this. It's fantastic to work on, but we just need a little bit of support to finish it. We also think it can really benefit from your input. We really think this will make it a better product in the end. So thank you for watching and hopefully we'll talk to you soon.